Uh, I am here with Stephen Kulbrek, who is the chairman and chief executive of Diamond Resorts, but also the chairman of the Corporation for Travel Promotion. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Sure. Uh, tell our audience a little bit, what will you be doing and when? Well, wait, this is very interesting because the United States has never marketed itself, Charlie. And uh, so for the first time ever, the United States is coming together with all of the CBBs, the visitor bureaus, marketing Brand USA. And it's going to be exciting because for the first time, the United States is going to actually aggressively uh, market itself against other countries like the UK, Australia, China, and we're going to be competitive. Yeah, these folks spend hundreds of millions of dollars, and we were spending zero, but now there's a potential for hundred, two hundred million dollar well, we'll budget. Have a, we'll have a budget of a couple hundred million dollars. Per year. Per year, and uh, you know when we combine that with what the other visitor bureaus are spending, Las Vegas spends 275 million. You know, New York has a budget of about 70 million. California has a budget of 50. Add up all those numbers, it could be close to a half a billion dollars of spend. Excellent. Well, one of the things at the press conference yesterday you said, and I was happy to hear, was that you are keeping the administrative overhead costs down for your organization so that all, as every penny, can go to marketing U.S. Now, that, that was great because I'm going, oh, yeah, another government this organization. Is not, this is run as a private entity. Uh, we're a nonprofit corporation. We liaison with the government. And what's great is, so far, we've been up, up open for business in five months, and we've only spent $160,000. I got the power of the checkbook, and I'm very frugal when it comes to where we're spending the money. And you're getting a lot of in-kind rent, uh, office, uh, whatever you whatever can. Whatever in-kind we can get. We've gotten legal accounting so far, mm -hmm. and, and uh, nobody's taking any salaries. All the board members aren't taking any kind of reimbursements for themselves. Everyone's doing this pro bono, in-kind. And we're going to get a lot of bang for our buck. So all those dollars we have are going to be spent towards marketing in the United States. Do you personally Facebook or Twitter? I don't. You don't? I'm not a big Facebook fan. But you've obviously read my, about my, and heard about the 700 million uh, Facebook users and things. 100% my company does. We're big Facebook users and Twitter users. And I'm sure the corporation will have a tremendous impact when you know we'll go forward using that kind of social media. Yeah, yeah, most effective. Diamond Resorts, tell, tell me a little bit about it. Well, Diamond Resorts is, uh, we're uh, a large hospitality brand. We're in 28 countries, 35,000 beds, and uh, oh. we have over 2 million guest nights. So we're, we're a pretty large company. And just coming out of our shell, we were a, a company that was, was being fixed. We bought a broken hospitality company four years ago and rebranded it, and it's... Uh, come out as Diamond Resorts International today. And, and it all goes under the Diamond brand? All under the Diamond brand. Our individual properties are, uh, are, uh, are known, but we fly, every, we fly diamond flags at every property. And uh, well, that's many countries. And what, what level category? We're, we're a strong four-star. Strong four-star with five-star service. Matter of fact, we deliver the meaning of yes every day. My business cards at every front desk. My picture's there. And with my live email address. So every single one of our guests can contact me. What are your plans for growth in the coming year, two years, three years? Well, we plan on uh, looking at emerging markets, um, India, Brazil, China. We have tremendous diversification already in the EU and uh, in the United States, in the Hawaiian Islands, in the Caribbean. So, you know, we're looking forward to understanding and coming up with a, a, a strategy for China, India, and Brazil. Of the 33,000 beds right now, what percentage are in the U.S.? Uh, right now we have approximately 70% in the United States today. Okay, yeah, so definitely the growth is emerging markets. Emerging markets. Steve, thank you so much for joining Charlie, us today. Thank you.